there. It's me, Arthur. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. Yeah, good girl. Once an old Driscoll, always an old Driscoll. What's your problem? I already proved myself. Well, all you proved is, uh, how quickly you'll turn on your friends. No, no, it ain't like that. I, I, uh, I only rode with them for a while. Yeah, you might have Dutch fool. But, um, <laughs> I'm watching you. We're all... You ain't tied to a tree. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Uh-huh. Mm, good food. Javier. Could make a good blanket out of that. And fine conversation. Why do you feel the need to talk so much? You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's... I guess I prefer people when I don't have to listen to them. Point taken. Lenny! We need to play again, Arthur. Let me get my revenge. Yeah. Already wishing we'd left Sean hanging from that tree. Oh, I know what you mean. Thank you. Mr. Yeah, Pearson. yeah, I know. Thanks, Pearson. Appreciate it, Pearson. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring Mr. me the right Mr. Strauss. How was it looking around Blackwater when you got Sean? Not good. Well, I should get back to it. Take care, Arthur. I'll beat you next time we play Arthur. Good, sir. Lots of work to do around here. <laughs> Someone should get on that. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. I've taken a break. But yes, I plan to keep reading. Is it uh, fun? It's amazing. It's the reason worth living. It's the only thing that makes me happy. So the only thing that makes you happy is being in your head somewhere else. <laughs> I suppose I never thought of it quite like that. 
You never read? Nah, I never fancied it. But you can. Well, I could, if I chose to. I've just not chosen to. <laughs> well, maybe one of us will teach you. Why don't you move next time? Mary Beth? Hey, Arthur. You okay? You don't seem yourself. Yes, I'm all right. Why? Okay, just making sure. All right, Arthur. What are you doing with them knives, my friend? Poisoning the tips. Why? Makes for a quicker kill. And you could take down a bear with one of these. You hit it in the right spot. Interesting. Get me some oleander. I'll show you how to make some. Pretty easy. Thanks, Javier. Claro. Here, I picked up some oleander. Is this enough? Yeah, should be plenty. I'll get working on some more knives later. Have you? Not really. <clears throat> Read any interesting books recently? No. Seen any plays? No. You heard any good jokes? Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> well, you fancy sharing it with me? No. Oh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be stuck Leave in the wilderness Arthur. with you, Charles. I've had more fun, well, watching the grass grow. Please, go watch it. You know, someday, you will warm up to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey. Hey. Evening. About time you rested up. You going out hunting again soon? Maybe. Well, you let me know. I might join you. Okay. Um, not much company right now. I'm good. There he is. You want to sit, Arthur? I reckon you might be the most loyal of the lot of us. What else Reverend? is there? Long day, Arthur. At least you're reading it the right way up for once. Very funny. Well, don't let me disturb you. Certainly.
evening. Are you okay? Love you. Charles. Hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. One of my boots would be more tender than this. Yeah, one of your boots probably would. You, uh, gonna sit? Hey, fellas. There's room here. Have a nice You want to sit? You okay? Okay? You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. If you even noticed, we moved camp. All right, then. Hey there. Evening. Don't know what we're gonna do with you. I don't either. Buck up. It's gonna be all right. Okay. Did John mention this train job? He did. Sounds promising. Yeah. We're getting things set up now. How are you? All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Chris. All right, Arthur. How y'all doing? Evening. Hey there. How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. Okay, you seem okay. in a good mood. I do? Okay, maybe not then. Yes, yes. Plenty. Arthur. You've been doing good. Thanks, Arthur. Keep at it. Okay, Arthur. Young Miss at dancing school is taught the menu at the trend. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink a Hi there, folks. Good evening, Arthur. Working hard there. Somebody's got to do it. All right, well, don't let me disturb you. All right then, Arthur. Good evening to you. Hiya. Look, everything's going to be all right. I know. You'll be good now. Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. Strauss. Hello. Bet you never thought you'd end up here, huh? I didn't know where I'd end up. Funny how things turn out. All right, Mr. Morgan. Our can is full of pumping out, and then I'll have to see what's going to do you for appetito. Compro mi trago. Oh, hey, 
Hey, Dutch. I like that one. Never been better. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do.